one owner car guy and what I got here for you today is a really nice one owner 1986 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEL um, I absolutely love the W126 cars well 116's 126's 140's I like all three of them but the big S-Class Mercedes-Benzes in the older years like this are just amazing um, this is a great car to export if you're in the Netherlands or Germany um, I know in Netherlands there's no value added tax on an 87 and, or 86 and prior um, so this makes a cut <clears throat> this is back in the day when a Mercedes-Benz meant something and if you could afford one you really had something you didn't see these rolling around everywhere you went and you still don't because they didn't make very many of them um, this one here is a beautiful car and I do love a one owner I mean you buy something like this brand new you take care of it that's all there is to it and the guy had it for what 26 27 years um, that's kind of a once around um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole review and show you the inside the outside around the side everything um, and that's about the deal um, Nathan 406-544-6919 you can reach me absolutely anytime beautiful car and my website www.oneownercarguy.com and on there you can see about 60 to 80 pictures of the cars that I just don't you can't see here on YouTube obviously but well that's kind of your once around I'm gonna go up close and show you any minor flaws and miscellaneous stuff that a guy might want to see on it which very much to talk about this guy kept this car clean 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 I've been starting farther back on him if there's damage small ding right here looks like the guy had golf clubs in his trunk a little scratchy scuff or something something on there I don't know if that's a yeah that's a chip teeny scuff little scuff by the wheel and you can tell these one owner cars like I put Mitchell and MXV4's energies on it and great tires and cars ride like they should with the Michelin's on them um, all the chrome around here is in beautiful shape windows and glass are in great shape oh, a little scuff right there <clears throat> a couple little insignificant chips of such and that is that the wheels you know they I have a guy that for about a hundred and a quarter he'll paint them my god they look amazing when he's done um, underneath factory undercoating and all still good I love these one owner two owner cars uh, still got the same body colored paint underneath there the Mercedes-Benz these things are put together man Put together right. Very clean. Very nice. A little dent right in there. You can tell he kind of bumped into something and this piece got pulled down. Um, very easy to kind of reattach somehow a bit, but I'm going to say it needs a new piece to be whole again. Stone caught that right there. And this piece here, this one's bent, and this one's bent. I have extra pieces I'll give you. That one you'd use one on. But, um, guy really just needs to get a grill. They're 89 bucks. Car deserves it. Beautiful, beautiful car. www.oneownercarguy.com. Go ahead and show you the tranny pan. This ding right here before I forget it. Little ding right there. Once I see something. Oh, little clear coat chip around the antenna thing there. Great shape. Cloud reflection makes it hard to see anything. And there just ain't nothing to talk about on this car for damage. Clean as can be. These California cars, you never get them off the 
highway. A little bit of wear on the outside edge of that, and the tires are wearing. Um, you know, there's dirt on them and stuff. But a little bit of dry rot starting to be seen. Not much. You know, around town they do good, but they need replaced at some point. Some smudges on that. Okay. Underneath the car. Great shape. Factory undercoating and all. I'll get that hooked on there. And a little bit of fading on the bumper you can see right there on the top edge surface. A scrape and a scrape right there. Little scrapes right there. Oh that's just some Huh, okay. So there's a little bit of wax he must have left on it because all we did is wash it. So, all the chrome trim's good. Just want to make sure that bumper ain't more messed up than I thought. There you go. A little bit of paint on it and stuff. Run over. Oh, it's not even paint. It's like just a scratch and barrel. My high tech detailing people miss this stuff. A <laughs> um, little. Something right there starting just a tad. Well, that's your what look at that. Could you imagine that? Just leave it and jeez. I had a little right there. Right there. See it looks maybe a little lighter right there, but just in two spots. Nathan 406-544-6919. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I'm going to take you down the road, show you how she drives, um, show you the, you know what, I'm going to show you the interior right here. Just the time of day, depends on if I've got shadows or not, as to how, where, when, and why I'm going to do it. Right now, i got way too many cars in the garage, and they are here. My guys just showed up. Interior, it's in great shape. Let me get rid of that buzzer. Oh yeah, the bleep bleep bleep, you've got a radar detector there. Those panels in great shape. These pedals aren't even worn. Seats are in great shape. Absolutely beautiful car. Inside the back, you've got these foot feet thing down here. California car. Carpets are in great shape. Seats are in great shape. Oh, this. I want to show you that. I can get that fixed. I think it'd be about um, between 60 to 100 bucks. And he was giving me the evil eye. Giving me the evil eye. There you go. You got your old Rolls Royce things. Back up here. Medical kit is missing. Oh, it's over there. Shoot in here. Car's in great shape. Like I say, you get a one owner. Like, oh, even got the rear heated seats and the rear reclining. Oh, it's got to be the lights got to be on. Or the key's got to be on. Show you in the trunk here. Oh yeah, got the manuals and all. Brand new Michelin. It makes me fly. I don't even think it's been on the road ever. Alright, set these things out and then if I forget to put them up, I'll be driving this thing for the next couple days. End up having them everywhere. Light works well. The trunk. Back seats in great condition. Which I have already showed you, of course, and I'm aware of that, but I'll show you both sides here. This piece is cracked. I don't shampoo these, and they're in good shape. Um, some little small stains. 
but I don't shampoo them and stuff. I put a wear on the edge of that. As far as wear on the inside of the car, there ain't much to talk about. The uh, right there, not torn, but kind of a fold over, I call it. And that's that little scratch there. No rip throughs. This piece here, as you can see, is supposed to be under the carpet. And a guy could have it um, re glued very cheaply to where it was tighter there. Or that's your Saturday project. I, say, I call Saturday project. Small tiny cracks in the dash right there. I'm gonna open the hood while I'm here. Maybe it's hard to do all this with the camera. Small chip in the wood right now. Yeah, doing this with the camera just don't work all the time. The guy's gotta be on the right side of stuff to pull it the right way. Can't get leverage and, you know. Okay, here we go. Like opening the hood. I mean, I don't mean to give you the crappy camera view there. That's all I can get. Look at this, buddy. Nice as can get. Now, he put some tape on that. And I didn't even take the, the wherewithal thing here to clean that up and put regular tape on it. But I'll do that for you. It's getting a little old and I'll just put regular black tape on it for you. I got black duct tape. Big old Mercedes battery. Yeah, buddy. Big old 5.6 liter. Bosch ABS and everything. You get yourself a children's or hands. You can work on these cars. Okay. Oh, it's loose up here. And it's a little dry, so I don't know if you're going to get it to stick again or not. Um, things like that. I'm just leaving them on these. I'm not doing a whole, whole, whole lot. Oh, it has been retrofitted to R134A. Okay. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Trying to think of what else I can tell you about it. I think that's about it. That's a once twice around. Take a test drive. Might have to go see them on the way and cut this and put it back together. But that is the deal. Beautiful car. Um, not much else to say about it. Make sure and call me anytime. Nathan, 406 544 6919. I'm going to take this here bad boy around the road and show you how she runs. It's got both keys, by the way. The round one and the square one. 171908. You can hear that wee, wee, wee. It's got the, is it K40? SS200. Well, SS200 has got to be better than K40, right? You would think so. Right now, power baby. This thing is so quick. Um, I had a guy ask me about um, power on a um, 560. Should they lag? Well, they don't lag too much unless there's a little something wrong. Keep that thing right at 40 is hard, man. It wants to go back up to 80 or something. Um, Shocks in the rear are going to need replaced here. It's not, I mean, it drives fine. It's just a little bouncier than it should be. You expect a Mercedes Benz. a little squeak when I turned there a little bit. You know, you get a squeak here and there. That's 40, just like right now, buddy. I mean, just, and I did not floor it. I put it about 60, 65% of the way down, and it was to 40 in a matter of seconds. Um, I love the way these things ride, shift, drive. It's hard to beat. Well, 
I'm going to go ahead and go back up here, actually. They can wait a second. Um, and I'm going to give you a view from the other side. And then see you up there. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And... Oh, low washer fluid. I don't have any of that, I guess. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Had some guy tell me, well, I've got your number memorized after watching your video. Yeah, I give it out a few times, but save you having to rewind. www.oneownercarguide.com. I give that out a few times, too. Just lose track of things to say, you know. All right, that's about all I know. Thanks for watching. Give me a call with any questions, anytime. I'm always around. Got the front wipers on your lights and stuff there. Uh, import, export, I will send it anywhere in the world for you. Um, cheap, call me up. I'll give you a quote. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. We'll